All right, mate. Welcome to the crib. Oh, that was crap again, wasn't it? <laughs> well, we're coming. This is uh, the hack of the gaff where we're staying now. <coughs> uh, renting here for uh, training camp, so this is where the lads are staying. Nice wee gaff, and you come. So it's uh, obviously a bit messy at the minute, lads camp, but this is the living room here. We've got all sitting chill, watching telly and stuff, so up the stair. This is where the king stays, isn't it? This is <laughs> Dave's room in there. The bed and the PlayStation. Netflix and that PlayStation there as well, so this is the headquarter where we stay. Not too glamorous, but it does. And uh, aye, nice and comfy. Got the own comfort, so aye, it's good. All good. Put them in the towers to protect them. There's the babies there. WB8. And the first one I won, IBF. That one there as well. They ain't going nowhere. Chewing the fat. You never seen this? It's like still gate. It's like it's obviously the same people, but it was before they made still game. Um, they used to do all these like skits and sketches, and they were, they were brilliant, man. <laughs> How are you finding the new gym, mate? Yeah, good, really good. You know, and obviously, got a nice wee surrounding here as well. You know, we're in the house, you've seen it. Um, got a nice room here as well, nice big king size bed, and one suite, telly, and PlayStation that here. So, ah, it's really good. The gym, you've seen the gym as well. It's going to be class when it's uh, when it's fully finished. You know, so ah, it's going to be good. It's a uh, it's a good setup. So I'm happy. I'm ready to go in a couple of weeks, so I can't wait. Main thing I've done differently is bring a nutritionist on board. Um, Dave, who you've met, great guy basically. That's the one massive plus I think I've added to myself is bringing a nutritionist on board who he actually lives in the house with me as well. So going through it with me, he's here, he's here every night, living with me, staying with me, giving me all my meals, all, like my supplements, my it helps me sleep at night. He knows. I'm not told. I'm not very good with sleeping and stuff. So he's giving me stuff to help me sleep, like valerian and things like that. So helping me relax and just get that wee couple of bits, maybe one or two percent extra out of me, which might mean you're at the top level. Which I am now is that one or half a percent or one percent can mean the difference between taking over and, and being just almost there or and really at full full capacity at final all cylinders. I'm eating so much more and then I'm drinking so much more water and being more hydrated and ah, it's just a, um, that's that's a massive difference I would say that the one big change I would say it's not like I've took a year out from boxing and no box like training wise or being in the gym hitting bags sparring or anything like that I've, I've been in keeping myself active so I don't think it's going to make any difference really the only difference is on fight night is there's no crowd that's the only thing but You've seen in the gym with sparring, we're, we're replicating that atmosphere. What's going to be like? No music, no talking, and all that carry on. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be any different. I don't think. I'm not really talking before I go in the spa. I'm preparing if, as if I'm going in for the fight. The gym, the, the music's turned up completely off. Nobody's speaking. So I've always done that anyway, but it's more intense now, and even more so in the new gym because where the ring is in the gym at the minute. It's only temporary where the room it's in at the minute. It's quite an enclosed small room. So it feels quite intense and it feels like it's a small environment, like how I think it's going to be on fight night in, in the studio or in, in the York Hall where it's going to be. So it's going to feel quite small and tight and enclosed anyway. So I think I'm, I'm getting the best preparation possible, yeah. And the man you're fighting, he's a bit of an unknown, uh, Kong Song. Do you know much about him? I know he's got the same record as me, 13 knockouts. Um, <clears throat> he's tall, same same height as me, orthodox. Good timing, punches through the target, um, power in both hands, you know, good power for the fights that I've seen. He he's carries power and knocks, knocks his opponents out. So, yeah, he's a, he's a bit of a dark horse, sort of unknown quantity. He could be he could be a dark horse through what I've seen in his fights. Yeah, he's very, he's very strong, very tough, so... I'm expecting a game opponent to come at me and 
and given his all, but from what I've seen, I don't think he's got anything that I can't handle. Everybody keeps asking me about Ramirez and this and that and big fights, but I'm only focusing on this in two weeks. Yes, I'm not going to be back. I'm getting a lock on the room door, you're not getting in. Josh, you lock your room, so I'm going to lock my room. You won't lock it. Yeah, well. You won't bother going to the shop and look for it. Yeah, well. I will go to that extent. You won't. myself. Yeah. Josh, we all know your DIY skills are shit. I'm good somewhere, I'm into it. Anyway, you're banned. You're not getting back in. What? You're not getting back in. You're banned. You're chaffing, trying to pull some fucking strings, get someone to fit a door lock. You're banned. Yeah? You're banned. Hey, you may be undisputed, but you can't get someone to fit a fucking lock on your door. You see what? But <laughs> I fucking can. <laughs> I fucking can. <laughs> Piece of fucking cake, wee man. Just uh, a skin fade, please. Yeah. Um, sorry, mid. Rolling fade. A few of my pals have got motocross bikes at the minute as well, so I'm making myself a motocross bike. Are you happy? Yeah, I so. That was a good one though, you got a frame though, didn't you? This is going to be so this one, isn't it? You don't take too much hair. No, I was going to do it. Seven and all prospect, soon to be champion. Uh, mandatory right now for the English title. I'm super bantamweight. I'm coming for every super bantamweight. The training is the training is top class. Uh, to be fair, I've I've always had decent coaches, but I've never had an actual teacher who's taught me, taught me like new things and with Ben I just feel like every every session's a learning day, you know what I mean? You know what, being around Josh, uh, when Bill's in as well, being around Bill, like, the amount you learn is just unreal and they always stop and show me a lot of things so it's, it's just, you can't get no better advice than them to you, you know what I mean? Big leg! Side to side, Jack, side to side, Jack. Big leg! Yeah, I moved to Harlow, uh, all the boys are uh, staying together, we've got a flat where we, we all just stay there, chill out. It's not bad, miss home like. It's one of them, you got to make these sacrifices. I'm mandatory for the English title, I, I want to I wanna box for that, because if I'm mandatory, I ain't going to fear no one. I want to I wanna box for that, and then I want to step up to Brit uh, British title. If not British title, I want European or something. I just want to win belts. Boxing is not no, it's not, it's not no easy sport. You know what I mean? It's not for everyone. So there's a certain level of respect for any fighter to get in there. But at the same time, I ain't gonna be pally pally with them when we get in there. I ain't gonna be no one's friend. You know what I mean? Even the build up, I'll probably give him some stick. <laughs> this is the first time being in camp with Josh. And some of the things he does in training and sparring, you think, oh, wow. So I'm just looking forward to watching a big performance. It should be easy way. The guy, the Thai kid, uh, he's a strong kid. However, I think Josh has got too much, too much to fame time. Oh, Thank you. 
basically to get on it. Yeah. Because you know it's going to be fucking hard. Yeah. You're getting on it knowing it, you're going to be almost crying. Lord, you can't. Mm-hmm. Well, what was that? Is he boxing us up for Josh? Hmm. Yeah, because Liam's a south bro. Oh, you lost me like that, bro. He's stinging. He's stinging, can't you? I'll be pissed. Go away, guys. <laughs> See, I need to move these because otherwise it looks like tip. <laughs> Sorry, you're going away. T.I.T. Sort of independent traders. Leo's, guys. Leo.